Good day and welcome to episode 49 of our Let's Play of Fallout 3. My name is Turt Dald. Let's get started. On the last episode, uh, we decided to uh, continue uh, building our build and uh, uh, we made our way uh, east from uh, Tenpenny Tower to a little place called Cliffside Caverns. Uh, we uh, entered and uh, pantsed uh, uh, several raiders and uh, collected some loots and a couple of magazines and uh, Nuka-Cola Quantum and uh, made our way deeper into the caverns and discovered a little area infested with some Yao guy and continued our way through and uh, got our uh, schematic for uh, uh, nuclear grenade, our third. Uh, so we got version three of uh, nuclear grenades, made our way b uh, out and uh, discovered a little area called Overlook a Drive-In and killed a couple more raiders and, uh, and a dog and got a little more loot and made our way home and uh, crafted uh, some nuclear grenades. And uh, that's what we did last episode. I forgot to uh, put the uh, grenades on our uh, our list here, so uh, I think I'll put those on number six. Make sure they're handy. Um, I forgot to repair this. I don't really need to, but I might as well. I've got lots of them. Um, what we're going to do today is work on our final piece for our build. This will be our final piece. Um, we're going to make our way to the Nuka Cola factory, but uh, there's a little stop off along the way we're going to do from, uh, and that, that's going to be about there. Um, we're going to leave from uh, Overlook Drive In. How may I serve you, Master? Well, there's a few things around uh, where we're going. Uh, there's a few magazines, a little bit of a mystery, a little bit of a side questy type thing there. Uh, we're heading to a little place called Andale. And you see the Nuka Cola factory in the distance. Andale just straight ahead. There's a few things around Andale before we actually go into Andale uh, that are of interest. There's something here. Oh, Rad Scorpion. Okay, now we get to see the power of this sword. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, the sword works really well on uh, arm really heavily armored things like Rad Scorpions or Mirelurks. It's uh, the reason why I got it. I don't know if it's the electrical or what, but. Uh, it really works well on them. Uh, Mirelurks. Uh, everything but the king on Mirelurks. Mirelurk hunters, Mirelurks. Uh, you can't do the king with the sword. You could. It's just, uh, it just takes a lot of hits to take out a Mirelurk king. <coughs> rad scorpions. Rad scorp giant rad scorpions. Unfortunately, it doesn't work well on... Uh, the albinos, uh, the albinos just have too much uh, da uh, damage reduction. Uh, but yeah, it's one shot on almost everything. Okay, here's Andale. Now there's a couple points of interest around Andale. Uh, there's that little shack way off in the distance there. There's a magazine in there. So we're going to go in there, and it looks like something's going on down there. Looks like somebody with a flamer, for sure. Wow, there's a big battle going on here. 
looks like some raiders. Raiders. I'll break out that. I won't be able to pants them because they're in the middle of battle. So I'm gonna have to uh, give them the old uh, the old death claw here. Could use a sword on them, but the death claw works uh, really good. Oh, well, might be able to pants them. Looks like uh, oh, they're almost dead. It's not worth a mine. Mines are expensive. Oh, looks like they took out a scavenger. Oh, that worked out well for me. Wow. Two frag mines. Wow. That worked out really well for me. Let's go get this raider. Could pants them, but mines are expensive, and if they're already almost dead, what's the point? This is fun this way. Ha! He has no idea what's going on. Okay. Let's go check out this little uh, scavenger shack. That worked out well. I'm going to have to repair my death claw gauntlet soon. I got a spare that we got from the pit. A lot of hockey masks. I don't mind that. Oh, there's a little bit of loot around here. Most of it's stealing. You could uh, hack this, lockpick that for some XP. And there's where we came for. Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. We'll read that. That's for barter. Get in the habit of reading your magazines when you pick them up, because they do weigh two pounds. I uh, will hack this just for the XP. And there's nothing in there. Uh, I don't mind taking small hits. And there's a turret control here, but I don't see this turret. But uh, we'll hack that just for the XP. Extended. One of eight. Can't be expanded. Can't be unlocked. Could be discovered. There we go. And we could deactivate the turret, but honestly, uh, it's not bothering me. I'll leave it on. I don't even see it. Tell you the truth. Is it up top there? Yeah, I don't see a turret around here. I don't even it's not even showing up on my radar, so I don't know. Next point of interest is that truck on the road there. Okay, a bunch of cases. Check for loots. And here's what we came for. Dean's Electronics. That's for repair. And... Oh, Death Claw. Nice. I was going to just uh, do this on the way. Uh, Nuka Cola Factory is right there. So we'll uh, take out this uh, Death Claw. Our next point is going to be that little diner there. That's good. While they're breaking out the big guns, they want me dead. The game wants to kill me.
looks like he got into a fight with a Yao guy. Look at that. Look how he just destroyed a Yao guy. And Yao guy are, are uh, tough. So we're going to head up to this diner. Sometimes there's uh, some raiders here. So uh, we're going to keep an eye out for them. I don't know. Oh, there could be. Yeah, I see something up there. I'll get a pantsing. I'm itching for a pantsing. I see somebody here. Yep, the raider here. Where is he going? Is he going to do his little zigzag? Yeah, hey, they do a little zigzag. That is Fairfax Ruins. I uh, will be going there. Uh, my normal uh, route is uh, Fairfax and Dale up to uh, those caverns in the, in the Overlook. That's my usual route, but uh, I want to try to keep my episodes at a reasonable length. And let's read that magazine. Okay, now there's one more magazine in Andale itself and a little bit of a side quest. So we're going to go up and uh, check out Andale. Yeah, we're doing uh, the meta build here where uh, I want all my skills to 100. And uh, to do that, you need a lot of magazines. Uh, it's the only way it can be done is if you get these magazines. So by the time I reach uh, max level, which is 30, I want all my skills to be at 100. So I got to uh, get these magazines wherever they are. These are the ones I remember. I don't know where every magazine is in the game, but I know where quite a few of them are. <laughs> Just because I like doing this meta build, uh, getting everything to 100, it's a challenge. And here we are, Andale. What's going on in Andale? What? Who are you? What? How? How did you get in here? What are you doing in this town? Get out! Get out while you can! Whoa, slow down, Grandpa. What's wrong? What's wrong? You don't see anything wrong with a quiet little town full of friendly people in the middle of a blasted wasteland? Well, I haven't talked to anyone here, but you. Are they friendly? No. Well, yes. But it's all a trick. Don't you know anything? Did you just crawl out of a vault or something? Just about everyone in the wasteland knows to avoid Andale, and they're right to do it. People wander in here, and they don't wander back out. Well, I'll be careful, I guess. You should. Otherwise, you'll end up just like the rest. What? You don't believe me? Just look in the basements, or out in the shed. You'll see what I mean. I have to go now. Run, stranger! Run! Well, let's uh, find out what this old man is talking about here. Uh, the house we eventually want is that one. But uh, we'll go meet the uh, residents of uh, Andale here. And you're listening to on -wave Radio. I'm going to turn this off. Okay, there's a key there. Come and get that later. Well, hi there. Welcome to Andale. I'm Willie Wilson, though folks just call me Bill. Is there anything I can do for you? What's wrong with that Harris guy? Oh, that old kidder? Whatever he's saying, he's just pulling your leg. He's always joking, that one. What do you do around here? I feed my family, and I love my wife and daughter. What else more is there to life, stranger? Family first. 
and any man who says anything different is saying something wrong. And you should hit that man with a stick. Tell me about Andale. Why, it's a place to settle down and raise a family. Of course, we don't just let anyone in here. The Homeowners Association is very clear on that. Besides, there's no room, as amazing as Andale is. Is it any wonder that all the houses would be full of happy families? Old man Harris doesn't seem very happy. Poor guy. His wife died and he went, well, crazy, I guess. He won't talk to any of us anymore. He stays locked up in his house all day and the girls bring him his meals. He barely eats enough to stay alive, poor guy. He's all skin and bones. I have to go now. Come back and see you soon. Okay. Seems friendly enough. Welcome to Andale. Why, hello there. I heard there was someone new coming. How can our little family help you? Do you like living in Andale? Are you joking? It's fantastic here. The best town in the USA has been for why it's been so many years running that I've lost count. What's wrong with that Harris guy? Well, that always was a bit off his rocker. Wait, he's your dad? Oh dear, I let that slip, didn't I? He used to be, until I got married. I, I can't really say much more than that. What do you think of Andale? Oh, well, no one ever asks me my opinion about anything, but I love it here. I have to go now. We'll see you again, won't we? Okay. Uh, seem like friendly people. Everything's stealing. Uh, let's check out this place. Hello again, America. This is John Henry Eden, your president. I gotta turn this off. Some... There's a couple kids. Each one Glorious has a kid. Day, isn't it? Jack Smith. Hi. Hello there, fella. Good to meet you. Name Smith, Jack Smith. Welcome to Andale, the best little town in Virginia. Virginia? Virginia's been gone for 200 years. Not here, not in Andale, no <laughs> sir. The great Commonwealth of Virginia is alive and well. In fact, we just voted ourselves a new governor. You voted for governor? How does that work? The adults walk right <coughs> on down to the polling location and drop ballots into the box. How do you think it works? Yes, sir, it's every American's civic duty to cast his vote for his favorite Republican candidate. Am I right? Well, okay then. Yes, sir, democracy is God's best gift. Right after family, of course. So who did you vote for? Now, now, my vote is my business and no one else's. But I'll tell you one thing. We didn't vote for any beatnik liberal commies, that's for sure. Well, it's good to meet you, Jack. And it's good to meet you, too. Feel free to stay in Andale as long as you like. Heck, stop by the house for dinner sometime if you'd like. Just let Linda know beforehand so she can make enough for four. Thanks, Jack. Maybe I'll do that. I hope to see you there. So, did you need anything else? What's wrong with that Harris guy? Oh, old man Harris? Don't mind him. He's gone, you know, a little soft in his later years. Ever since Gladys died, he just hasn't been the same. He said you were all crazy killers. Did he now? I've talked to him about spreading rumors. I guess I'll just have to have another little chat with him. Every time he does this, he scares our new friends off, and we love people. It's a shame when they slip out of our grubby little paws. <laughs> what do you do around here? I work to feed my family just like every red-blooded American man should. Why, a man that can't keep his family fed isn't any kind of man at all. No, sir. Tell me about this place. Andale, greatest place there is. We win town of the year every year. We've got no end of food and no troubles at all. Yep, there's no better place to raise a family. Old man Harris doesn't seem very happy. Yeah, well, he's hit it rough. Ever since his wife died, he just hasn't been enthusiastic about the Andale lifestyle anymore. He stays locked up in his house all day, and the girls bring him his meals. He barely eats enough to stay alive. Poor guy. He's all skin and bones. I have to go now. Come back any time. We look forward to having you. Hi. Uh, they won't let you talk You're to You're new them. here, aren't you? Wow. I've never got a chance to talk to the new people. Dad always takes care of them before I get a chance. Wow. Do you like living in Andale? It's okay, I guess. There aren't a lot of kids around here. 
and no one who comes to visit stays around long. Dad says it could be worse, that there are a lot of starving kids in other places. But still, I wish I had more kids to play with. What do your parents do? The same things that all parents do. My mom cooks and cleans the house, and my dad goes to work with Mr. Wilson. They work in the basement, or sometimes in Mr. Wilson's shed. Dad says that when I'm older, I'll come to work with him and learn the family business. Tell me about Andale. It's swell, except I wish there were more kids, and my dad says I'm going to have to marry smelly old Jenny Wilson someday. He keeps saying stuff to my mom about keeping the family going and how when him and Mr. Wilson were brothers, they didn't want to get married. It's weird. That means Mr. Wilson is my uncle and Jenny is... something. I don't know. It seems weird to marry her. Wow. I have to go now. Gosh, I wish I could go with you. Well, there's something going on here. The good... Well, hello. Welcome to Andale. Winner of the best town in the USA contest. Best town in the USA? How many towns compete in that contest? Well, I don't right know. But we're the best one. Isn't that what matters? I mean, we're the winners. Us. Not Springfield. Not Rockville. Us. So like I was saying, welcome to Andale. What can the Smith family do for you? What's wrong with that Harris guy? Has he been spreading his stories again? Poor guy. I'll just have to have Jack give him a talking to. Tell me about Andale. It's the best little town there is. We don't have a care in the world here. I mean, honestly, what more do you need to know? I have to go I now. I really look forward to preparing you for dinner sometime. Well, we're going to investigate this a little further. Something seems off. Uh, we're going to just check out this basement. Oh, uh, there's keys. Uh, you can get a couple keys, but uh, I want the XP. We're going to take a karma hit, but that's okay. Now you look around. That's what I came for right there. Uh, Grognak, melee, nice. Okay. You look around, there's uh, lots of implements of cutting and decapitated, half decapitated bodies. And there's a ripper there if you want a ripper. I'm not going to steal that. I'm taking some hits as it is. Yeah, they're uh, basically they kill people with kindness. If you look in the fridges, strange meat. Strange meat. Strange meat. Uh, okay, so they're, they lure people into their town. Kill them with kindness, basically. Uh, lure them in and then kill them and eat them. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to be confronted by them. Uh, but they won't know I'm here. Hey there, stranger. I've got something that I want to talk to you about. I couldn't help but notice that you're poking around in my basement. So, be honest now, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I really don't know what you're talking about, Jack. I'd love to speech check, but uh, I want to kill these people. Look, stranger, I'm not angry. I just want you to tell me the truth. If you can't do that, then I think you'd best head out of town. I almost grabbed a snack while I was there, but I would have been rude. I'm afraid that it just doesn't work that way. I guess we know where the next meal is coming from. <laughs> now I'm going to pants the rest of them. They're hunting around looking for me. He's got his basement key. I'll come and get that later. Holy shit! Ah! What was 
that? There's nothing Whatever here. Whatever it was, I guess it's gone now. Now they're gonna do this little zigzaggy thing. Just remember those keys are there. I want them. Uh, let's go talk to old man Harris. I saw what happened out there, stranger. Those people may have been my family, but it had to be done. I was like them for so many years. It's... I can't even talk about it. The only thing I can do is try to raise these kids and make Andale into a decent place. What's going to happen to the kids? They'll stay here with me and I'll raise them myself. It's a shame that they have to grow up without their parents. But to tell you the truth, it's a lot better than growing up with their parents, everything considered. Better an orphan than a cannibal, I guess. Now what will you do? We'll do our best is what we'll do. Me and the kids here in Andale. What's left of it, anyway? It'll be hard going, but we'll do the best we can. I just hope that one day these kids will grow up to do some good for this place after all the evil that's been done here. So you grow up here, too? Sure did. Can't say that I'm proud of it, though. It was all just normal. It's what we all did. I did never think much about it. I married Gladys, just like every boy in Andale married the girl closest to his age. We had Linda, and she grew up to marry Jack. It wasn't until Gladys died that I thought about what went on around here. So many people over the years, hundreds, thousands maybe. But what could I do? I'm just an old man. But you ended it. Bless you. So he was part of the whole thing too, and then grew a conscience. Uh, so this has Bye. been a generational thing. Uh, uh, for generations, uh, this has been going on. Uh, we're going to check out the shed, because I want the XP. I think it's behind this house. The XP for lockpicking. Being persnickety. Get, a, get the XP where you can. This type of thing. And then we'll go pick up those keys, just to have them on our key ring. Okay, my... Boy, my lockpicking is off. Ouch. Wow. It's a good thing I got a lot of lock picks. Okay, that should have been it. Oh, that should have been it. Okay, it's right around there. Now down further. There we go. Yeah, and you could have come in here first. Uh, if you look, it's all strange meat. Strange meat is human flesh. And you see more butchering. Combat knives. This would have been heaven for uh, Stab Happy, Ripper. A couple rippers, lots of rippers here. Probably the most rippers in the game in one area. There's about eight of them, I think. And strange meat. So, generational family of uh, cannibals dead. So now we're going to head to uh, Nuka Cola factory. Let's go. That's right there. This is a two-parter. This is to get our last piece. This is the only way to get this last piece I, I want. This is it. Uh, I have to do the new Coca-Cola factory first, and then we go off and get our last piece. Oh, 
There's a couple machines on the outside. Uh, might get lucky and get a quantum. Not that I'm starving for them, but uh, I like my quantums. I like to collect as many as I can by the end of the game. on the outside. That's all Fairfax ruins. There's the door. I don't think there's much on the outside. That's all Fairfax ruins. a second, sorry. Bathroom emergency, one of the benefits of playing live. Um, so we're going to be confronted by mostly robots. It's mostly robots in here. And I'll just put on my uh, machine gun. It's going to be m mostly robots with some uh, smaller junk. Rad roaches and uh, such in here. Hear the robots working away. I don't know what's the best way to start. I will go down this way. Doesn't really matter. We're going to cover everything eventually. That's the safe I want eventually. Unfortunately, you can't lock pick it. You got to find get a key for it. Requires a key. Those are traps. Research terminal. Company announcement. The new Coca Cola Corporation is pleased to announce to all its employees that the first shipment of our Coca Cola Quantum are on their way to the retailers in the Washington, D.C. area. This flagship test market program is the culmination of a three-year research program to bring the refreshing taste of quantum to market. Congratulations to all employees on a job well done. Uh, quantum progress report 0041. We'll start at the beginning. Isotope CE770 has proven to be a disastrous failure. All of the test subjects suffered severe internal organ failures and died within three days of ingestion. We recommend the immediate destruction of container A32 in the production rooms and suggest switching to isotope CE772. Please send standard nuca, nuca condolences, fruit and cheese packages to test group members' families. Wow. Quantum Progress Report 0055. Isotope CE772 has proven too damaging to the initial test group, which now needs to be disbanded due to their reluctance to continue in our program. 
This group has suffered four fatalities, 12 major internal organ failures, and 32 internal radiation burns. This is an unacceptable number of issues with a given test group and recommend we switch to an alternate isotope such as CE774 or UR993. Oh, they're not giving up on this, eh? Wow. Test subject in the Nuka-Cola Quantum Program are responding well to the reconfigured taste and the new isotope. The only listed side effects from the group are three cases of dizziness, one case of nausea, and one case of impaired vision. We find from a sample of 50 that this is an unacceptable number of cases and approve this product for production. Wow. New flavor coming. Attention all Nuka-Cola Corporation employees. We are very proud to announce that R&D has been completed on Nuka-Cola Clear with an only minimal loss of life. Minimal. I mean, somebody died. We've been able to modify the look of Nuka-Cola, but give it the same great taste. We will be submitting the product to marketing shortly for bottle design and advertising strategies. From all of us in the research department, thanks for the support. Wow. Okay. Uh, they don't mind killing their customers. It's a weird philosophy. Well, as long as they get your money. Yeah. Let's see if this has anything different in it. Same one. Same one. See a robot over there. Oh, we'll go take this guy out before we uh, continue on. That way I can loot with impunity. I like the look of these robots. It's got the Nuka Cola logo on them. I want my loots. Well, I guess I'm getting a bit of loot from killing the robots. I could go through here and not even kill a robot, but uh, I want the XPs and the loots, the scrap. Scrap is XP. Plus I get some work for the machine gun. Okay, maybe we'll try the other way there. I hear Meyer lurks. Okay, we'll try the other way. Come back here, I know what's down there. I'm going to completely clear this. I think this is just bathrooms and stuff, if I remember correctly. We could hack this and go to where we want to go. Uh, but uh, uh, I want to clear, complete clear. Get a 
quantum. No. Yeah. Maybe. I've got enough Nuka Colas now. So this was like a little. Uh, there's a magazine. That's for repair. Nice. So this was their fridges. They're all empty. Empty. Yeah, this is like their little uh, cafeteria area, I guess. Their lounge. Okay, let's move on. There's some mire lurks ahead, so my sword is going to get some work. Oh, I missed something over here, it looks like. through that door. Yeah, the sword works really well on Mirelurks. Like, really well. Like, one-shot kill. Sneak, if you're in sneak anyway. Different uh, Meyer lurks. They're Nuka lurks. They're actually a bit tougher than regular Meyer lurks. I guess there was a leak. We're gonna find out here in a second. There's a leak of this Nuka Cola Quantum that turned these into Nuka lurks. Start this protectron if we want. Pulse grenades, currency. Third, one of five. Could be cheat. Zero of five, so the H can't be white. It could be lived. It has to be lived. It's the last word. Okay, I don't want this guy up and running. I could get him running and then just kill him, but I'll let him live. I kind of remember something else around here. Uh, me and my magazines. I remember something around here other than this stuff. But I could be wrong. Okay, we're going to take some rads, but. Uh, our rad resist is good, and we can afford to take a few rads. Did I lose him? I wanted that nuka meat. Oh, 
Boy, that's doing that to me a lot lately, eh? This uh, stuff going through the ether. I don't remember the game being that bad. Oh, he had no meat? He had no meat? That's unusual. Oh. Bit of a jumping puzzle here, I think. He can get up over here. But it's a weird jumping puzzle. There's a wall there, for sure. It's walled. I can't remember how to do it. have to stay down, that's right. Remembering more than there was, I guess. Now I'm looking for a body. Uh, that's what I'm looking for, a body of a guy. Okay, here we go. Seems like overkill, but uh, honestly, I don't want to wreck my sword. It's a unique, so they uh, most uniques don't have a lot of... Uh, Sustain. Wow, how did I miss that? Wow. And quite honestly, this thing doesn't get a lot of uh, work. search. I'm looking for a body. Body of a raider type character. He's in this uh, area here. I hear a nuclear or nuclear a couple of them. Company announcement. Nuka-Cola Corporation is pleased to announce to all its employees that the first shipment of our Nuka-Cola Quantum is on the way to the retailers in the Washington, D.C. area. Okay, we read that one. 
Stage one. Stage one of the Nuka-Cola Quantum Marketing will include two 15-second television commercials, four 10-second radio commercials, and a highway billboard campaign. The spots on TV and radio will tease the consumer with the blue glow of the new drink, never showing the bottle in an illuminated environment. The billboard will show the bottle's blue silhouette on a black background. The tagline will be, try something new, go blue. The name will not be revealed until Stage 2. Stage 2. Stage 2 of the Nuka-Cola Quantum Marketing will include two 30-second television commercials, four 15-second radio commercials, and a highway billboard campaign. In this stage, the name Quantum will be revealed and the bottle shown in full view. We will emphasize the drink's new energy, content, and flavor. The tagline will be, Take the Leap, Enjoy a Quantum. I guess from the TV show Quantum Leap, I guess. Stage 3. Stage 3 of the Nuka-Cola Quantum Marketing will include four 30-second television commercials, four 15-second radio commercials, and a highway billboard campaign. In this final stage, we will aggressively compare the drink to other competitors and show their inferiority using hired actors as taste tests. The actors will read pre-written scripts approved by our department. The text should give an authentic, on-the-spot impression, but still clearly point out quantum strengths. The tagline will remain, take the leap, enjoy a quantum. There you go. <clears throat> Yeah, I hear another uh, Meyer Lurk, or a Nuka Lurk, or whatever you want to call them. This just has the same thing as before, yeah. Okay, I can't remember exactly where this body is. It's There it is. There it is. He's the danger, Mark. Where ad roaches are no danger. I doubt I'd even take one hit point damage from a Meyer alert now. Or from a uh, rad roach. Yeah, it's missing up. Wow. Okay, so I gotta aim a bit down. Okay, I thought that was the body. Okay, I don't want to get lost. I don't want to miss this. I want that piece. Lock hard. Wow. Okay, what am I missing here? isn't the area with the body. This is just like a little storage area. Skeletons are hurting me because that's what they do in this game. I kind of remember this. Why it would have a hard lock, I don't know. in here. Oh, I don't want that pack of cigarettes. Yeah, I don't see much in here other than the Just a quick uh, tour with the light. Oh, there we go. Help me. I knew there was an area with a note. I just uh, 
couldn't remember exactly where. No, help me. He threw me in here. I can't believe he did it. But that bolt brain foreman psychopath locked me in a closet. A goddamn 17 minute break. That's why it threw, it threw me in here. It's been a day and that stupid robot hasn't even checked on me. I can't wait until the next time he opens that door. I'm going to brain him with his auto stapler and then escape. This story will be front page news so fast that he'll have been reassigned with toaster duty by the time he sees it. Day three and I'm running out of what little edible supplies there are. They dragged another guy in here as well. Says his name is Seth from R&D. Apparently it's now against company policy to leave the toilet seats up in the unisex bathrooms. We've come up with a plan that won't fail. We'll be out here in no time. But for now we play the waiting game. So I guess uh, as punishment so they would put them in this room. Uh, looks like they got some kind of robot. Uh, that's their uh, guy. Okay, let's uh, head back this way. I hear some upstairs. The body might even be upstairs. Uh, you know, uh, there's another way down there too. Bathrooms. He's right above me. Hear him tromping around. No traps on toilets. Seems like a place they would trap the toilets. They don't want their people taking breaks. Lock them in the closets and let them die. Okay, this is where we came in. I'm positive. That's where we came in. I don't want to miss this body. I really don't. And I'm probably just being paranoid. We did all this. We did all that. There's a Nuka Lurk. We did the closet. And now we're moving up. I'll put the sword on. Shipping. What's down here? Okay, I guess I'm still using the gun. I could use the sword, but... Uh, It'll just wear the sword out faster. That's why I carry the three weapons. This is for this type of thing, and there we are. Three, two. There we go. Plus, it gives you a variety of play style. You know? Get to use guns. Get to use uh, the fist. Gauntlet. Get to use a sword. Get to use. Uh, we read all this. Get to use uh, explosives. Okay, safe. Gives you a variety of ways to play. Oh, I'm making back some. Uh, is that trapped? No. Marketing terminal. We read all that. Another book. What is that for? Okay, I got 100% speed, so that's a spare. I don't want that Chinese pistol. Let's move on. Same. body's in a room just like this and it's just lying there. Oh, can't leave XP's. Yeah, it's moving the, to, just to the up a bit. Odd. 
Okay, that's clear. There's the body. I see it. I see it. This is it. Good. I don't care about anything else in here, actually. Well, there's some quantums and... But you gotta go all the way to the end to get this. There he is. Got him. Good. Let's read this. Finding the formula. Finding the formula. Winger Mercier. The formula for clear Nuka-Cola is on the first floor of, the, of their DC plant. That's where they did all the R&D for it. Get the formula and meet us at the Red Rocket Tricycle Factory as we planned. Our buyer is promising lots of caps, so I want to see some hustle. This could make our gang to the big time. Sudden death overtime forever. Goalie Ladue. Excellent. That little guy's trapped in there. Another book, big book of science. I got a hundred science, so a spare. Well, at least it's giving me some bobby pins. I can't do nothing about that guy in there. He's trapped in there forever. Good. See, if you wouldn't have looked around, you wouldn't have got this. If you would have just went to where they wanted you to go, you wouldn't have got this. And this is the only way to get this item by doing this. Okay, I think we cleared this. We can go on to shipping. Nice. <clears throat> it's not a crucial item, but I like to have it. It's, uh, it's a powerful item, or it can be. We'll stay up here for now and work our way down. robots from now on. Should be, but uh, you know how my memory is. We're going to get lots of uh, lots of scrap. Microfusion cell, where did that come from? I guess off the shelf. the downstairs I guess well we'll be back here There's the front door. I'm trying. I'm getting lost, guys. Sorry. I'm trying to hurry now. Cause, uh, I feel this episode's gone on a bit too long, so I'm hurrying a bit. So I'll slow down. Yeah, this is the front door. Okay. So I missed something somewhere.
Wow. Seriously, what's going on? Okay. That's the front door. We got that open. And we leveled up. Nice. 60. 60. What do we want now? We can take these to uh, 65. Point left. Could go in energy weapons, I guess. And this time I'm gonna take. Uh, this is level 25. I am gonna take that uh, one for the uh, iron fist for the unarmed. Nice. an area, obviously. should be the end. That should be it. I can hear the guy. Where's the guy? I can hear him. There's a... should be a robot. I can hear him walking around. Okay, I'm missing an area then. Freeze. To be clear, zero of five. Could be saved. There we go. Company announcement. Nuka Cola Corporation, please. Uh, okay, we did all that. Packing line instructions. Okay. 
packing line notice. Attention all due to the oversight of the design department, the Nuka-Cola quality bottles are slightly heavier than the standard Nuka-Cola. As a result, the packing line is prone to jams and may cause damage to the equipment. Please do, to, please do not lo load Nuka-Cola quantum bottles into the sorting units until further notice. All test samples of, new, of quantum will be packaged by hand until a solution is reached. Load quantum into sorting unit. Activate packing line. Excellent. Okay, and that'll give us a few Nuka-Cola quantums. And I'm missing a guy here. I can hear him. I think he's upstairs. And that's the guy I want. He's going to give me the key to that safe. Unfortunately, there's no Nuka-Colas here. It's, you'd think there'd be a ton of Nuka-Colas here, but there's not. It's all empty bottles. He's up here somewhere. I hear him. I don't think there's any robots around. I hear this guy here. I was here. Okay, what, what am I missing? I'm missing a little room down there. Storage and mixing vats. We were in there. I could hear that guy moving around down there. Down here, maybe? There he is. I think I see him. Yeah, here he is. What is it now, sir? What is it now, Normally he talks to you, uh, you don't have to shut him down and kill him, and you, you could talk to him into uh, giving the stuff. Quantum test shipments, that's to download uh, that. We got the Paradise Falls one, we got the Super Duper one. We haven't been to Old Only net yet, but it's not in you know, Old Only, it's outside of Old Only on a truck. We haven't been there yet, and I got the safe key. Good. And yeah, normally he comes out and has a conversation with you. I don't know what happened there. Maybe it's because I hit the breakers for the thing early. But you kind of have to. It, that's just the way it happens. I don't want the 32 pistol. And another magazine, lock pick. Lockpicks at a hundred, so all those are just spares. Okay, let's go get that safe. I must have walked right by here, hey? Eh? Now, I'm not sure if on the other line there's some Nuka Cola, so we're going to go look. where we got our Nuka Colas, our Quantums. There's another assembly line, but yeah, no, they don't appear here. So let's go get that uh, thing out of the safe. This should be clear. Go out the front, and back around. Should be right over here. This should be all clear. That's what we want right now. Okay, let's head home. Drop off some loots.
Oh, I see something ahead here. There's somebody up here. Won't probably won't let me. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a raider. Oh, let's clear this because uh, it won't let me teleport until I clear this. Do your little zigzaggy moves. It's not gonna save you. That'll help for the next bit here that's coming up. We'll go do these two guys up here too. Three guys apparently. See a Chinese officer sword. I like it. Gotta wait till after they do that little talk before you can move in. Okay, that guy's just gonna stare this way. Oh, let's go do this guy then. See if I can get him to blow up a car. Thank you for the sword. Appreciate it. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's head home. That was fun. I love pantsing. I just love it. I, I, if that makes me a sick bastard, then I guess I'm a sick bastard. Drop off some loots. We got one piece of the puzzle on us. Welcome home, sir. I'll leave one, repair. I could have left that too. That got a bit of work. Oh, that's in good shape still. How's my perforator? Yeah, I could repair my perforator. Flamer, frag grenade, I'm gonna need some mines. I think. Yeah, nice. That can go in the thing. Four quantums, nice. Might 
Yucca lurk meat. Very rare, because that's the only place you can get it. Go see, uh... Go see Greedy Guts. Getting to check this. We got a buff out from that. I keep forgetting to check. It takes like three days, so it's not. It's not like you're gonna make a lot of money uh, from that. Uh, it takes like three days for an empty soda bottle. I'm gonna have to drop that. I'll keep that on me. Twelve scrap metal. I gotta drop that bottle. That goes in there, that goes in there. That goes in there. Okay, let's go. Out here, drop this bottle right now, or it's gonna haunt me. And it's one pound. I need all the weight I can get. Let's go see Walter. I'm sure, this is well. Next trip, I'll see if he's got water because I took some hits on my karma there. Yeah, what is it? Take it all, my friend. Take well, it all. All right. Let me count out your cash. I have to go now. Well, back to work. All of us here thank you for everything you've done. For us, for the wastes. We pulled together and got you this. It's the best we could. Oh, thank you. No. I wonder if there's a vendor out front. No ants today? No vendor? No vendor. I'll never forget you. Thank you for your help. I hate to ask, but... Sip you, away, my friend. Sip that? away. My... Let's check our status. Champion of Justice. There you go. I'll never forget you. Wow, a lot more levels than I remember. But then again, it has been a couple years. Check our inventory, make sure everything's right. Weapons, repair this. I need a few mines. Eight, no, uh, yeah, eight. I need 25 mines, I'll bring 25. I'll probably pick up a few more where we're going next. But I'll be using quite a few too. Let's check our inventory. 59 pounds, perfect. 
We're going to lose four pounds when we get rid of that damn repellent stick eventually. Items. Weapons. It's all potable. I got a death claw hand on me. That's quite a few pounds right there. There we go. Good, below 60 pounds. Excellent. I'm going to rest. And I am going to call that an episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a good one. Turtled out.